Of course, I greet you and thank you for making the off, making time off your busy shadows to be with us here today for this press briefing. And of course, the, the boss man, the party president, has spoken. And uh, I hope my job is only to add in a few things which touch me personally. On Monday this week, a section of our members during what they term does a consultative meeting. A consultative meeting. Just decided to make it attacks. Attack meeting. It was an attack meeting, not a consultative meeting. <laughs> towards us leaders of the FDC. And this is the reason why we have decided as accountable leaders to come out here today and offer the true line of the story. A whole energetic heavy MP to make such an allegation, <laughs> you will know that this was just an attack on me as a person, without anything but just attack. Of course, the meeting was basically Nandala, Nandala, Amriat, Amriat. The whole discussion during the Sunday meeting and the previous attacks are anchored on fresh, fresh, fresh false words and a very dangerous ploy to damage the reputations were built over a long time and uh, over a long time, which is very painful. We have built this over a long time. Of course, Honorable Semuju Nganda, our Lord Mayor Rukwago and others have continuously peddled claims that we received large sums of money from President Museven, what they called unknown sources, <laughs> to hand over FDC to him. This is just pedestrian, just thinking from this faction. If this is a political party with structures and stakeholders, it's not a personal property that you just hand over to anyone. I want to tell our constitution, Article 13, it says any member who goes to another party ceases to be a member of what? Of the FDC. Sebuguao went, she was a deputy president, she ceased to be a member. Which structure did she go with? Even her family structures, I'm sure she never went with it. So I cannot oh, I'm carry a structure on a pickup, on a road to take to Musebe. Unless for them they have a formula how they want to carry it on a pickup. And they will tell us. <laughs> Secondly, who legs must prove? Why can't they lay evidence on the table for all they see, all they saw? Why are they not putting evidence? Why are you alleging? It is because they are alleging to people who have reputation. And they believe that if they soil us, the public will not trust us. But we want to state, the public has tested us, the international world has tested us, and they know which type of person we are, and they trust us. Honorable mm. Semuja and others have also claimed I made a deal with President Museveni to hand over FDC in the exchange for Bank of Uganda Governor Job, now Minister of Finance. This allegation has been around since 2012. I want to respond by saying my qualification. My experience and expert are very sufficient to have that pos those positions. Who doubts me? <laughs> <laughs> However, no one has ever approached me with that offer. And I'm not interested in working with seven. Whatever you are saying is just peddling fresh, fresh, false words for their personal reasons. In fact, if I want to go to work, I, World Bank is waiting for me. <laughs> World Bank is waiting for me. Mm. Not Bank of Uganda. Not Bank of Uganda. 
and I consulted for so many banks, World Bank, international banks. <laughs> They allege that we used the mysterious, mysterious money to procure vehicles for 2021 general elections. These vehicles were paid over a period of time, other than by a single deposit. And we have evidence we're going to share with you. They were paid over a period of time. These attacks are glaring, deliberated to dwellers, so that Honorable Samuju and his clique have their way in taking over the party for selfish ambitions. This armed with the power of the FDC members shall not allow it to happen. I want to call on members of FDC, you should not allow this to happen. You shouldn't. You have heard these are newcomers. <laughs> one is about two years, another one is less than ten years, but they are here wanting to take us. Mentioned earlier, Honorable Semojus Creek has made allegations without providing any evidence. Despite constant requests, submit the same. If this is not malice, what is it? Why don't you bring evidence? You say on such and such a day, you saw us in the state house speaking money. But you cannot provide. As human beings, we are tempted to follow the path they have taken in the past month of maligning us. However, as seasoned, respectable leaders, we shall not. We are respectable. We shall only provide the evidence to confirm who is who. We have decided to share something for you to appreciate of the person and the character of Honor Samoju in fragrant drawing public funds in millions of shillings for activities he has never undertaken. We are going to share with you. In only less than six months, a man got money from the public. 378 million. If we give you for the years, you can run away. He claimed it to have traveled. If you get information we're getting in some of those areas, he never traveled. He was in one country, in, in, in three countries on one same day, which are far apart. <laughs> Far apart. <laughs> he tells us that Museveni should declare his relatives he has employed. In the parliament as a chief whip, as now a whip, who are those working and being paid in his office by parliament? Never say you have a, a piece in your a speck. A speck in your eye when you have a log in your eye. All this we are going to share with you and you are going to do it for your own analysis to confirm what a leader you have <laughs> who Same. claims to be clean mm -hmm. yet <laughs> we have more documents we shall share. For us we have evidence we are waiting for theirs. <laughs> Let us go back to the memorial lane. Of course, some of you don't know, in 2000, 2001, we participated in the election. Our president was Dr. Visa Chiza Biesige. We did the 211, we did the 26, 211, 216. These general elections were when Dr. Chiza Biesige was a presidential candidate. And we're very well funded. Mm. I want to state I was a, the deputy treasurer general. I have evidence and information. <laughs> The worst funded, the first was funded election is of 2021. The other one was over 10 billion, 15, but this one was not even 3 billion. Why? Because the so called who would have been able to assist were not there. And why? Because it was Ingin Yamri at standing and was properly abandoned. <laughs> In the Kampala here, I will give an example. Rukwago, Lord Mayor Rukwago ran away from every candidate of FDC. Every candidate of FDC, <laughs> including Engineer Amuriat. In fact, we have a petition which says he went against the party. If you cannot support your own, now you want to come to support who? 
Amri had suffered. That applies to my brother Nganda Semuju. He ran away. But I want to give you a simple experiment to show who are those who get public resources. Who made billboards for Lukwago? You remember the billboards? Yes. Who made them? Who made billboards for Semuju? We have got a quote, somebody who says those billboards each was over a, each of them spent Lukwago over one billion. Semuju spent over what? One billion. Show me the kiosk which sells the airtime which belongs to Semuju. Do you have have you ever seen the kiosk of MTN or airtime? So where did he get the money? <laughs> so I told you that we have been funding elections. It has never been an issue. All those periods, nobody has ever questioned where was the source of what? Funding. funding. But in the 2021 is where the question is what? Coming. <laughs> This double standard should not be accepted and we shall not agree to people who have who talk with their tanks folded. <laughs> During the day they are saying something and the night they are saying a different story. Honorable Semuji is the biggest beneficiary of government money. <laughs> You recall when he was a chief government whip, and now he was he was now opposition whip. No, that's a whip, chief opposition whip. Yeah, chief opposition whip. He was given a vehicle with even a lead car and a field with a field card. But also they gave him cash, two hundred million. If he loves Uganda and FDC, why did they either bring the two hundred million in FDC? Or return it to, to the consolidated fund. Because he was already given a vehicle. Because he had already what? The government vehicle. vehicle. Mm. I have mentioned about the people he, he employs. Mm. I want you to go and find out who his relatives, who his relatives are. Mm. Before he asks number seven, his relatives he has employed. <laughs> <laughs> I want to state, and I want to tell you, the people of Uganda, and I want to ask Sare. He raised the issue to Lukwago. Yes. I know Lukwago goes to court or even on the smallest thing. Why hasn't he gone to court? <laughs> that clearly shows there is truth and I wanted to ask General Saleh to give me authority to prosecute this case up to the end. <laughs> because I am one of the best investigators in this world. <laughs> and I will tell you, he is a chief beneficiary of public resources. And if directly and indirectly. Hallelujah. Recently, he was paid over 500 million by Anthony Geno that he went to court for a case that they were thrown out of office. office. There are many people who have won cases. Years and down, they have never been paid their what? Money. If Museven was not interested in him, would he have given him this 500 oh, oh, oh. <laughs> 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 The document we have, which will show criminality, and I want Honorable Semuju to deny it, is going to be saturated to you for you people to see a leader who is supposed to do oversight function how he behaves. If you can get money like that, would you really question anybody? It is for your own in, in, in a six months. There are areas for I've told you where he was in Juba, Nairobi, Saudi Arabia, Dubai, almost on the same days. I want you to ask a question. Did you send members of parliament to go and be trained how to do how to do campaigns. I thought they are already campaigning my people. Mm. If you see those documents, he's every, almost every week in Nairobi training in campaigns. He <laughs> went to supervise elections in Kenya for 14 days. 
Were elections in Kenya there for 14 days? <laughs> Let him confirm he was there for 14 days. If he's a genuine, if he's a genuine man. And he says he's a Muslim like us. Allah. Haram <laughs> kabisa. I want to challenge my brother, Semuju, who has been doing character assassination of Nandara and engineer Amuriat. To come out if he has more authority hmm. to challenge me and engineer Amuriat. They should stop to be pretenders. And if they have any evidence on us, they are free to table it. I have declared all my personal assets with IGG, all my businesses, and how I have gained them. When I left the bank, I was being paid $20,000 per month in 2001. When Samuel left journalism, I was being paid that much per month. <laughs> So if he has those properties he has, when he was getting nothing, what about me, who is paid in what? In dollars. <laughs> I will also give a document which talks about the 300 million of agents which was given to our founding father, who claims he took pictures of the money and when he was returning, he returned it in installments <laughs> on the day of voting and thereafter, and we still have a balance. And if he says it was that money, he would have returned it all once. Yeah. Mm. Not in what? I want to state that as a party, there was no need no need for our team, team to have gone to Zambia to spend all that money. They would have come here to question. Because you wanted to ask accountability, which we have provided in the working committee, where there are all members, mm. in National Executive Nick. Committee, Nick, mm. in National Council. If you have not asked from there, why go to Zambia? In the auditing, which I'm well versed and as a professional, they raise a query. Mm. We have submitted our accounts to electoral commission. We have not got any audit query. And I don't know how Semuju and uh, Rukwaganda team are capable to raise a, 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 a audit query <laughs> where their competence in that area is lacking. Is lacking. <laughs> they made <laughs> an allegation that we got money to fight NOOP. Now, you can imagine FDC people becoming spokesperson for NOOP. Noop. <laughs> the person who should be complaining should be who? Senyonyi. But you can imagine Sir Lukwago and uh, Semujo are the ones complaining on their behalf. <laughs> that shows that they are not members of FDC. They are just on top of FDC, but they are NOOP what? I want to state, we have never got money to fight Noop, and uh, we want to say, if Noop says so, we are here, but I want to state that this confirms the, the truth of the last election, why Lukwago was silent on FDC, but sympathetic, sympathetic to Noop and other forces. Now, if such a member can refuse and uh, Semuju can do that, it clearly shows that these are members ready to destroy this party in the name of Noop. And I'm saying kindly desist it. As FDC, I, want, I would like to remind you that FDC believes in democratic processes. That's why we have the elections. We are in the election process. As the party president explained, our village structures start on 21st, and this is a command of the national, it is a command by our constitution, Article 15, Clause 4, 
which says there will be better party branch elections. That also applies to 16-3, 17-2, and that's what the party is doing. I want to state that we have also received a petition where people say that the chairman elect the chairman FDC, the party president FDC, the chairman FDC president, uh, the chairman, not the chairman, the chairman, the national chairman has no mandate to stop any election process. And that's true. Uh, the electoral commission of FDC is independent and they do what they are supposed to do according to the law. And if they have decided to conduct the election, it's the command of our constitution. As a secretary general of this party who keeps the accountability, who is in charge of who, who is in charge of the who is the custodian of the law, that is say responsible for compliance with all legal obligation of the party. I will defend this constitution. Any man about who tries to break it. It will not be accepted. <laughs> I am. It is so unfortunate that our brother Lukwago is mobilizing people for coming to disrupt the National Council. I want to request colleagues and brothers that don't do it. This is not a fighting ground. <laughs> if you want to fight, you can write a letter. We will also get you the number of people to fight with you. <laughs> and we can hire Nachivubo <laughs> for that purpose. <laughs> this is a democratic party. It will not accept. It will not accept any violence. And I want to repeat, it will not accept any what? Violence. violence. And my brother, Lord Mayor Lukwago, kindly desist from that act. If we really had the power, to mobilize. When they sacked for you from the office, why didn't you organize those 200,000 to return you to the office? <laughs> and now you want to come and fight. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> and that is the reason why an electoral ma roadmap has been drawn to renew party structures, leadership through election. It is through election. It is not through violence. It is through what? Election. election. This fraction of leaders will not dwell us from achieving this. I want to thank you all. One Uganda. One people. One people. One Uganda. God be with you. Oye. 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 Now, over 100,000 dollars. If you divide it in two days, he had traveled 142 days in six months. And in local area, he had also traveled 38 days. If you total the whole half a year, he was not available. <laughs> These are the documents which you need to share among yourself. And I want Samuel to tell me if this is possible. <laughs> These are the documents of the bank statement where we drew the 300 million from Tambi. Personal. Explain. This one is in real lesson. The issue of the money. Carried. This is a real lesson. The money which uh, the three hundred million which doctor says he carried. This is the three, the money how we got it back from uh, Doctor Jessica in Zambia. What else do you want from me? The constitution of your FDC is on on Google. www.fdc.org. It is there to tell you about that. Uh, hmm? What we have done, we want to state we have preserved some for tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>